this is exactly why them balloon pops be popping. Yeah, not the way y'all talking about. Because when y'all see these 304 kitchen rats get up on here and say the things that they want, you see now that they are all just scammers. They all just trying to get to a nigga's money. Because right here, we got a scammer from the balloon pop situation that is facing 16 years in jail because she also scammed a major league pitcher, bro. Yeah, let's jump right into this crazy situation. My name's Adana. Um, I popped it because you seem very tired, like an extra in Friday. Like, like Big Smokey. A woman who accused former Dodger like Trevor Big Bauer Smoke. of sexual assault has now been indicted. A woman who accused former Dodgers pitcher Trevor Bauer of sexual assault has been charged with fraud in Arizona. You know she corny because it, it, it was Big Worm. She can joint both of the names Smokey and Worm. It was Big Worm and Smokey. See, trying to be funny. A grand jury indictment unsealed Monday accuses Darcy Adana Esmonu of fraud and theft by extortion against Bauer and another man. Is Esmonu this funny? sued Bauer, saying he raped her and got her pregnant in 2020. Bauer says she demanded money to terminate the pregnancy, but later said she had a miscarriage. Bauer posted a five-minute video on YouTube responding to the indictment and addressing allegations at large for the first time in months. Here's the thing, she never had an abortion because she was never even pregnant. She destroyed this man's career, bro. These 304 kitchen rats, stay away from them. This is exactly why I be trying to give both my sons as much information as I can, bro, to avoid these. She destroyed this man's, you know what I'm saying, uh, major league baseball career, bro. He ain't back, been back in the league in what, like three, four years, three, two, three years. Unreal, and it's all over now. It was all cap. She's done this to more than one guy. And that's corroborated by her own medical records. When I refused to pay her the $3.6 million she was asking for, she made up a bogus sexual assault claim and filed a civil suit against me. Yep. In the countersuit, Bauer's lawyers claim she took the money for the abortion and went to Philadelphia to get LASIK eye surgery. There are women that will try and ensnare you and extort you for money. And if they uh, come out with these claims and they smear your reputation, they can destroy your career. We tried reaching out to Asmonu and her legal team, but were unsuccessful. Her next court date is next week, and she could face more than 16 years. Bro, her name sound like she be doing shit like this, Osmonu. She sound like a scammer. If convicted on both charges. Darcy Don Asmonu has been criminally indicted for committing felony fraud against me and another man. So now she's facing up to 16 years in prison. We had one plain sexual encounter out, in though. December of 2020. Nothing that could be considered remotely rough. Uh, she initiated it, but don't take my word for it. Take hers. This is a picture and text message she sent me the next morning explaining why she came on to me. And for months afterwards, she repeatedly requested to sleep with me again. Uh, for example, this text from January 7th, 2021. At one point, she even requested a sample of my sperm so she could have my child whenever she wanted to in the future. Now, it's hard to keep track, but she's made at least four seven-figure demands over the last few years. Uh, more than a year after the one time we slept together, Adana retained a lawyer. Uh, she then demanded $3.6 million and claimed I forced her to have an abortion, leaving her emotionally devastated and irretrievably damaged by it. But uh, here's the thing, she never had an abortion because she was never even pregnant, and that's corroborated by her own medical records. Uh, Look, bro. Ruined this man's career, bro. Now he gotta take a little bit in this, you know what I'm saying, for messing with these porch pigeons. A curb cricket like this, I would've laughed in her face on a balloon pop show. Look at you. I want you and even in real life she would have got curved look at her she looked like she scamming and do something wicked when i refused to pay her the 3.6 million dollars she was asking for she made up a bogus sexual assault claim and filed a civil suit against me in that version of her story she claimed for the first time by the way uh, that there was non-consensual sex but her texts from the next morning show what actually happened remember this text in which she explains why she came on to me she also claims that instead of an abortion, she actually had a miscarriage, but that's impossible, of course, because again, she was never even pregnant. 
Uh, we now have emails between her and the first two law firms that dropped her in which they acknowledge they never had any evidence to support her claims, but they'll try to get my money anyway. I then shared an audio recording I have in which Adana contradicts her own claims and asks me for money. In the emails, her lawyers agreed that that's insurmountable evidence and they inform Adana that they can no longer represent her unless she can provide documentation or proof of her claims. Yeah, of course, she couldn't do that, so the law firm urged her to consult other law firms with different standards. Now, Adana has filed more than 10 police reports claiming sexual assault or harassment against other men, including at least one other professional athlete. But after the Scottsdale police completed their investigation into her claim against me, she's the one being indicted for felony fraud. And not just against me, against another man as well. Now, she made up bogus sexual assault claims and attempted to extort him too. And it gets worse. In my lawsuit against her, we subpoenaed a witness whom she knew for relevant documents to use in our case. And when she found out, she immediately made sexual assault claims against him too. Uh, her MO is clear. Lie to men to get their money, extort them if she must, and when they refuse to pay, stop paying or stop giving her what she wants, go to the police, accuse them of sexual assault. And hit y'all all across y'all head. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty sure she's somebody else out there she done got on a lower scale. And file a civil suit against them to retaliate. I think she would be somebody that probably could be. I was hoping they would have brought her in. Yep, there she go. There she go, weird as hell. And I remember her up here too. So now when y'all go on a balloon pop show, just try to go get popping them, them balloons. Just go try to pop balloons. That's it. I mean, I know why y'all are there for anyway, but yeah, that's it. Trust these, trust these kitchen roaches, man. What is wrong with y'all? Be my A, 1A if I were to run my business and include her in it. And um, um what, what, what's partner. the cut? If Be my partner. A partner. Oh, dear. Look, look at her. What, what, what's the cut? Just a scammer, man. Y'all be believing these roof rats, man. If y'all don't get on somewhere, I'd have laughed in her face. You ain't about to get me. Look at her. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she looked like Blade, nigga Wesley Snipes, the first one. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> yeah. 